What is up, guys? This is Bad Space Wolf here. Um, it's been a while since I've posted videos. I apologize for that. I've just, it's been a crazy summer for me. I've had a lot of things I've been doing in that. And one of them, well, I've been posting, I tried, I, uh, again, I apologize for not posting up a lot of videos lately on this project. I got, it got down to the wire for me and I had to finish it. I couldn't post any videos. I said, screw trying to post videos. I'll just show you guys what I've done after I get it all done. And well, here it is here. Let me just stand up for a second to just show you the big, the depth of how much I got. Here we go. That's all I got. All right, here's a couple low down things before I get into the heap of it. First things first, uh, my Terminator squad, uh, my Forge World kits, I wanted to do, I could not get. Got too close to the wire, I said screw it, and I used the Terminator standard Terminator kits. Still went out very, it still turned out very well, I'm very proud of that. Um, secondly, uh, I actually got a terrain board. I wasn't intending on getting one, but I said screw it. I wanted to give it a little bit more meat because the board I got was a little bit bigger, is was really big. I wanted it to be big. I didn't want to have a small board and have all this stuff be having to remove some stuff and that, so big was good. Got all I needed done and done. Moving on. Um I've got some stuff that was not originally going to be in this, as you can kind of see with like, here, let me do a comparison. With the tones, it's a little bit darker and that, but the great thing, it, oh, it kind of would probably show like how long they've been here. Like this is like from the newer one, like newer Tyranid. This is like the newest Tyranid morph that they have out on the battlefield right now to the oldest. This would be older just because this is what they originally had as a camo. And then they converted over to that. But anyways, uh, here's my spike, the Trigon, and two Raveners. I wanted to add a little bit more Tyranids just to kind of give it a look like they're kind of being overwhelmed a little bit from that, just like from all sides and that. So yeah, and also I got the Hormigons done, which you'll see them very shortly. But anyways, moving on. Um... Let's see here. Starting with the Terminators themselves. Uh, I got my Sergeant with uh, Banner and that. And this is actually my first time actually using uh, uh, transfer sheets and that. And I think they turned out very well. Let me know. Let me know what you guys think. Please comment on my video on that and see. Tell me what you guys thought of it. What you liked. What you didn't like. Whatever. Uh. Terminator with a chain fist and storm boulder. He's a chainsaw in the face of a hormigaunt right here. Uh, the reason why I'm pulling this stuff off is that way you guys can see after I get done what I did. And Doyle the Dreadnought, which is right here. Here he is in his original form. Thunder Hammer and Wolf Claws. And next up is this one's my absolute favorite. So the great thing about doing dioramas and that is you don't get in trouble for doing some of the stuff you did. So what I did was I kind of overkilled this guy. Cyclone Missile Launcher, Assault, uh, assault Cannon, and Storm Boulder. Very proud of that. And I just got a standard Terminator that's looking up shooting at that one we got right there. Just standard Storm Boulder, Power Fist. And I got in the crater blew him up uh but all right before i get to the rest of this uh sorry for rushing this guys i am trying to make sure i stay under 15 minutes because the last video i tried posting was too long it was like over a minute long but anyways moving on uh what i did was first was is i base coated this in black and then dry brushed the entire board and then did the snow effect uh did uh Scenery cement sprayed that on and then dusted it and then sprayed it and then did that like process all over again until I got the effect I wanted on the board and also on this And added some uh, cotton like not cotton but uh stuffing that you just put in like pillows and that for smoke And I think that turned out very well And now I'm going to show you guys 
the entire thing. I'm just going to pick it up and that way you guys can see. Oop. Mind the bits and pieces of the Hormigant that was blown up by the Cyclone. Guys, but... Uh, to get the effect, what I did for this, I... Dry, uh, I took gray, like a dark smoke gray, and then uh, dry brush. I painted that, uh, dry brushed that in, and then did that with a black too to get, give it that f effect, like it was still smoldering. Same thing with the rhino too. And all right, I'll just I'll leave it there because I got it pla I got it strategically placed. That way I don't forget it. I'm very proud of how this turned out, guys. Uh, you've seen everyone else on my last videos. I got a, just a little bit more of an update. I actually painted him completely and also kind of give it a look like he was bleeding tremendously and also like scatter, like cast off and that there. Same thing with uh, this guy here. And uh, yeah, let me get up. And last but not least, the standard bear with plasma gun and banner. And this, I like how the banner turned out. I'm actually going to keep this guy for my army and that too. I had to put him on a base because his, he would not stand. And I had to cut down the banner a little bit. That way it would he'd be able to stand up a little bit. But he was too heavy with the banner and also the melty gun. So I had to base him. I based the Hormigons too that way well they could stand up in that. And what else? Oh, right. There's one little last thing. Uh oh, sorry about this guys. Uh what I'm doing next, uh this project's done. The Grey Knights project got done too. Again, I am sorry I did not post any videos, but I've been busy with trying to get this done and some other projects done around the house and that, but anyways, uh, the Grey Knights project at got done, I talked to the person who I was going to do that for, they didn't care if I got a hill and that, and I couldn't afford a hill at the time and that, so I just gave them that, I'm going to be doing a hill for them later, at a different time, uh, the cape, I did get green stuffed, I will try to get that uh, model for you guys, that way you guys can see it, because I believe I did a very excellent job on it, I'm very happy on how that turned out. And they're very happy with how it turned out too. And right, uh, what's on the shop? What's on the block? Chopping block right now. This. I'm gonna be trying to get a Furioso dreadnought to uh, turn it into a Chaplain dreadnought. I was gonna go through uh, eBay to get one, but I kept on going against an auto bidder. For uh, it was really ridiculous. Uh, both products that were posted by the same person was put on auto bid, and I couldn't outbid them. So I said, forget it. And instead of trying to go through Forge World and trying to pay that crazy price, forget that. I'm just going to build one from scratch. What I'm doing is I'm taking the Death Company chassis in that and just building from the, oh, kind of scraping off like uh, bits and pieces of like all the blood angel iconography and all that. And then just working from there. Uh, but another thing I've been doing is this and I'll show you what I've been doing uh I got bored one day and uh I looked through my venerable dreadnought case and I uh, my box and that and I pulled out some of the screws just to try to paint something up in that and try to find something uh, uh for a little miniature I'm doing right now just to just to pass the time and just to try an experiment with something I'm doing and I found uh these uh bits and pieces for a last cannon and plasma cannon forgot to build them up i wasn't going to do it but i said screw it i wanted to give my guy some ferocity and also since i'm going to be trying to do another dreadnought eh, have them have a little bit more of a variety thing and i still need to uh wash this this is not washed yet but i think they look pretty good and Especially, I, I like this right here, the gold plate. I cannot wait to see how that looks washed. I'm so excited to see that. But, um, I'll give you one last look through. I'm sorry that the, uh, some of these guys are still down. I'm trying to not rush myself, guys. It's just, 
I want to make, I want to try posting this video. It really frustrated me with the last one I tried posting. It did not want to post. But, um, that's it, guys. That's all I have for right now. Please tell me what you think of this. I put a lot of work. I, I just love hearing what you, I would love to hear what you guys say about this. And that's it. And this is Bad Space Wolf 13. Peace.